If you like these videos, if you like what I share, please click the button below to subscribe to my channel. Hey, Star Chasers. So we were able to find a calf operation in Marsing, Idaho that agreed to let us buy a single calf. Normally they don't do this. The office manager even said that this is very unusual, uh, but I went out there and we took a look around and I was able to pick out the calf that I wanted. The calves are separated by weight in order to make sure that they're all safe and no, no calf is bullying another calf. So uh, we took a look around and as you can see, it is an extremely clean operation. I could not believe how, how pristine everything was. The roadways were clear, you drive by, you see all the calves, the, the lots were clear, clean, there wasn't much fecal matter, uh, there was a lot of good new bedding in almost all of the, the pens that the calves were in and the there was hardly any flies at all i gotta tell you this this operation i would buy from again it absolutely hands down was fantastic and i will leave the link below so you kind of have an idea of, of where where we went for the calf uh, and you can go take a look for yourself but we were highly impressed with the way that they maintained and kept the the animals healthy and clean and they had 3700 head of cattle in this location and it, as you can see it's it's amazingly clean so we went and grabbed the calf and we brought him home the guy's scared peekaboo As soon as he sees you, he runs back the other way. Be free, little guy! <laughs> so when we lost Buddy, How Now lost her friend. So we went and got her a new one. He's not nearly as old as Buddy was. I would say he's probably about four months old. So now How Now has a friend to keep her company for a while. So yesterday, he wouldn't even let me touch him. He likes belly scratches now. Not bad. Yeah. He's my little beefcake. This is ribeye, of course, Angel. The ribeye doesn't look so good today. I came out to feed this evening and he just doesn't look himself. His ears are all droopy. He's not nearly as energetic with eating as he normally is. So I think I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning, see if maybe he perks up. Maybe he's just tired. So last night while feeding the, the animals, the livestock, I noticed ribeye wasn't feeling so good. And one of the things that you can tell with a, a calf when they're not feeling good is droopy ears, lethargy. He wasn't interested in eating. He didn't have any uh, level of activity. He just, he just wasn't himself. So, um, I figured I'd let him have the night and then uh, see how he felt in the morning. And this morning, he again didn't want to eat and just didn't want to move around. His ears were really drooping and then I noticed the diarrhea. So, I went in, grabbed some probiotics and grabbed some electrolytes and started uh, basically syringing them in his mouth. And he really did not like that this morning. 
and um, kind of fought me on it. He actually walked up to me just now. So he's feeling much better. He, his ears are not nearly as droopy. I did notice he still has diarrhea. So we definitely have to keep him well hydrated. And the way to do that is continuing to give him uh, and, uh, some, uh, some electrolytes. So I'm going to see how he does today with the electrolytes um, <laughs> and not, not my clothes. <laughs> so let me set up the camera and we will see what he does. No, no, no. Oh goodness. I'm wearing this today. Wow. <laughs> no, no. No. Ah. Hey. Okay, this is the guy that wouldn't let me touch him. I guess I'm not wearing this today. Not my clothes. Hi! <laughs> really? No, no. I guess he's feeling better. Definitely feeling better. Hey, no. <clears throat> I was gonna wear this outfit today, but <sighs> can't have anything nice. <laughs> but that's that's ribeye. Uh, he must be feeling a lot better. Um, we'll see how he does. He definitely drank this up. He must like it. It must taste good. I'm not gonna try it. But anyway, so that's ribeye and that's, I guess, how you feed him electrolytes. <laughs> so it's day two. We're going to see how ribeye is doing. I got the probiotics today, so we are going to give ribeye probiotics and electrolytes. Day two. Let's see how he's doing. That was the probiotics, uh, and it was the electrolytes. Is much less cooperative today.
He's not nearly as good as I had hoped he would be. Last night he seemed more energetic. <clears throat> so I'm wondering what else could be wrong. I may have to make a call to the vet and see if they'll get him in quickly. But we'll see. It's really smoky this morning, but I wanted to show you ribeye. So why don't you have a look? This guy was super excited about food this morning. He came running when he saw the, the garden cart full of hay. He, uh, he's been getting probiotics and electrolytes for several days now, just to make sure his diarrhea is gone. And um, you can see his shyness of me and fear is also gone. I guess that's what happens when you, <laughs> no kisses. But that's what happens when you handle an animal quite a bit and with him being sick and um, needing to have hey we don't eat the arm uh, so <laughs> I, that's what happens when you handle an animal quite a bit when they're sick or injured they end up uh, not fearing you anymore and so you can handle them much better so as you can see he's quite hydrated he's uh, eating energetically. He has no problems anymore. The diarrhea is gone. He is very well hydrated. So I think we're out of the woods and doing just fine. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys again next time. Bye.